Hi everybody. Uh, this video is going to go over pharmacology. Most medications will have a suffix. I want to say prefix too, but I don't remember those. Suffixes that match, like beta, beta blocker and then lol. LOL, right? Yeah. So that's what that was really helpful for me. I made sure to pay attention to that. Nurse in the making, which is how I said it, she would put saved by the suffix. That saved me for so many questions because there were some questions like, oh, okay. um, yes, so don't stop there. What I was saying, expose yourself to as much as you can. Your best grade is a really good resource. You're gonna hear my cat meowing in the background, sorry. Your best grade is amazing. This question is a little hard. It's not the cheapest program, but it's worth your money. It's better than retaking the class again. Anyways, your best grade, the questions uh, format, it lines up to HESI and um, just prepares you, I think, better for that. Quizlet's good, but if you use Quizlet, I was um, studying information. Well, I wasn't studying, I was looking up, you know, questions again. To expose you because you can study something like I did flashcards and something may not be in there exposure but the correct exposure I wasn't really a fan of Quizlet for pharmacology yet yeah, some files but if you're going to look at Quizlet information or anything like that to doc you anything make sure the rationale is there because if the rationale is there then your answer is gonna be more likely right I looked up one just out of curiosity because it didn't have rationales. And I think within that first page, five of them were wrong. So make sure it has a rationale. Make sure that you're um, learning the correct information. So what I did, I cannot learn medications by writing them out on a piece of paper. Ridiculous as it sounds, I've learned after so many years of online schooling, my own handwriting annoys the fire out of me when it's on paper. On flashcard, I'm good to go. I actually like the way it works. I don't know, I'm weird. So I like flashcards. It's something easy I can travel around with. I have kids. Nursing school makes your life hectic, you know. So what I did, I bought nurse in the making flashcards. They're pretty, they're reasonably priced, and they follow along with simple nursing. Simple nursing is amazing. He is so helpful. Just the, the hints and stuff like that on there, they just line up well. This is her first not first, I don't know. I assume it's her first edition because the second one is second. So yeah, that would make sense. This is her older edition. They worked for me. There was uh, good enough information on them that I passed with these. I don't know if she still sells her older edition, but she now has a second edition out. And she added mechanism of action and I don't know what else, but I know mechanism of action on the medication cards. So that's more information. You do need to know that the best you can because you're not going to know all the information but know when I say know something know it to the best of your ability because you're not going to know it all and that's just the way it is but she gave antidotes I want to talk about antidotes she gave antidotes individually on in her cards I didn't like that because I mean that's one that's well two medications a medication and it's antidote on one card and that's just a lot of cards to carry around so I don't know if you have to pay for it or if it's free, but she does have nursing making has a study guide pharmacology thing where all her antidotes are listed in one like piece of paper. You need to know your antidotes. It can save or kill your patient. Um, general ones, repeated ones, you know, what's the antidote for opioids? That is a must. Um, I'm going to show how I... Um, did my flashcards, but I had an amazing teacher for my pharmacology two class. If you hear some weird noises in the background, it's my three year old. Sorry, but I had an amazing teacher. Her name was Professor Kane. I doubt she'll ever watch this, but if she does, shout out to her. Teachers can make or break your class. If you have a great teacher, yes, that is awesome. But if you don't, if you're, you know, and I'm not saying they're not great, but sometimes vibes don't click. How they teach doesn't match your learning style. Just don't go with it. Find what works best for you and stick to it. Try not to branch out and ask too many people because it can be overwhelming. You're like, oh, this idea might be great. And you try that idea and you just get super overwhelmed. 
But anyways, what I was saying, um, Professor Kim was great. She, what she did, again, I don't know how other classes, other schools do this, but what she did, how I learned was she was sending out weekly word documents of sections, I guess you want to say, that talked about what we're, what we will be learning that week. It aligned with our curse word. Yeah. She was sent out weekly information. So for example, week one was GI meds. Don't remember the order of the rest of them, but it was stuff like anxiolytics, psych meds, antibiotics, things like that. So it wasn't necessarily by system, but some of them were. And she was sending out videos of, uh, on a Word doc, like I said, of Simple Nursing, Level Up RN, other videos. I also have a thing about if their voice sounds a certain way or their video presentation is not the way I like it, I get annoyed and can't watch it and I learn nothing. So, um, simplenursing.com is amazing. I love his videos. Highly recommend him. If you're washing dishes, watch a video about it. Watch it over and over again. You're folding laundry at night and you want to watch your show. No. Put your laptop, whatever, in front of you. Watch Simple Nursing videos over pharmacology over and over again. Use every moment you have if you're in the car. Listen to it because you'd be surprised how over time you're like, oh, I remember that. And he, the way he presents it, I cannot say good enough. If he had flashcards like this, I would have bought his. Like, I love nursing making. Oh, my computer went dark. Sorry. But... He doesn't. I don't think he does. I'm not sure. Anyways. Yes. Him and Level Up RM. I like Level Up RM, but it's a little bit dry. Yeah. So she would send out the weekly information and we would just learn the content that way. Like I said, I bought Nurse and Making flashcards. What I did is I went to Walmart. That's one of these things. Don't remember how much it was, and it fit almost all my flashcards. And I kind of followed how she had it set up with like week one with SGI and stuff like that, but some of them I had to like specify a little bit more. I don't know if you can see how I did it, but I and I'm a post it note queen, like they saved my life. I forget so much. So, what I did is I got a flashcard. Look at that, GI drugs. And I put that there. Then I put all of the GI medication that, um, yeah, goes in there behind it. Some medications can go for two different classes. Like there's a medication here, mysopropyl salt. I don't know, something like that. I can never remember. Say. But yeah, so I put all the medication in there. And then I had like right after that. And I did stick to the way she presented. So like, she started with GI, still stuck in the order of how she gave the information in the class, but I made it a little more specific. So like after GI, I wrote down anticonvulsants, in parentheses, seizures. And I did it like that because not only did I write down anti, or put in my nurse in the making flashcards in here, I also wrote down, let me bring out these and show you, hold on. So these, um, and type of convulsant medication, but I also went through and I watched Level Up RN videos about seizure medication, or excuse me, seizures, sorry. You need to know your pathophysiology for certain diseases. You're not going to know all, but you do need to generally know, because like I got a question, I think, about status epilepticus, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It was some, it's one of the seizures. And if I hadn't have known what the, like the consequence of that kind of seizure, I probably wouldn't have got the question right. So you need to know, if you can, um, a little bit about that complication. So I'm, I'm going to try to find a card that I, where did I just pull this from? Oh, I brought this from Anxiolytics. Okay. You, I don't know how her new flashcards are if she has more medications in there. So, this was one of them. What is this? This is benzodiazepines. So, if you look at this card, I, it's kind of fuzzy, whatever. What's the best is getting? She has great information on there. 
and she has little hints where, you know, like the antidote for um, benzos were flumazenil and has a little memory trick. Flew fast in my Mercedes Benz. Things like that. Then if there, if I was going through the simple nursing or level up or, and honestly, any other information you like, I just liked those two. And I found important information from that that wasn't on here. I will get a sticky note and I, so this is really dumb. <laughs> I probably wasted so many sticky notes. You know, like at the top of the sticky note, it has the sticky part. I would only use that. I probably wasted like two of these and only used the sticky part because I also have a thing about pens. I have to use a certain kind of pen, but I would write information. See, see, that's depressant. Sometimes now I'm better, but when I first started this class, I had to think to myself, is this medication a depressant or is it a stimulant? So writing little helpful hints like that on your flashcard, it, it, it helps. And then if I had a lot of information that I felt was useful, which I think now, I don't even know if any of this is on there. But anyways, um, yeah, just stick it on there. I would write it on my little post-it note on the back side of the sticky part, you know. And then I would cut it out and stick it on there. And I would color code things because I'm weird. And then certain medications that weren't in her thing that were important, like barbiturates. These were important to know. I would write it like this. I hope that you can see. Why does that look backwards? Is that backwards? I don't know if it's backwards because whatever. Anyways, I would do class meds info or depending on how much information I was presented about the medication. I would write side effects, nursing, education. If you're like me, stick to your cards looking the same. I use the same color. I boxed things. It just makes your brain work better. So yeah, as I said, I divided it all up by section. Um, yeah, and I studied that. And then extra diseases see, that I wrote down. So like Huntington's, Huntington's disease, Alzheimer's. There's things about Alzheimer's that you need to know. Because if you don't know them, then parts of the medication won't make sense. So, I know it sounds like a lot. If you watch this at like the beginning of your pharmacology class, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. But, like this one, for example, myasthenia gravis. If you don't know what that is, your anticholergenic and your collagenic medications, those two, it just won't quite connect the dots. So as I did learn about this disease, and I don't think I remembered majority of it, you can use little things about the disease. Like I wrote down Tin Man because they get dry. And that's all I remembered about it. Study. So using a flashcard method like this was super helpful colors all of it but you also need to practice questions because learning how a question will be presented to you and how to look for the answer is critical learning how to go through each answer and figure out either you know typical nursing question of which one is the most right um, or all of them could be wrong and that one could be right. Figuring out how to answer the question I think is like half the battle with nursing school. Yes, knowing the information for these tests is obviously important, but learning how to answer it, how to read it, what to pull out, things like that, because you do get fluff and distractors just like everything else. Um, because you do get that in farm too, but yeah. I'm trying to think I don't think there's anything else but yeah just like my dosage calc video let me know if this was helpful at all I'm going to put the link for these simplenursing.com level up rn honestly that's the only ones I'm going to put because that's the ones I liked yeah I'm going to put those in the information under um this video yeah I hope this helps uh, leave me a comment I guess I'm just trying to help students not struggle as bad or give them a heads up for the class I don't know 
yeah, I just hope this helps.